Today we're talking about direct mounting your pickups in your electric guitar build. Why would you want to do it and how do you do it? Stick around. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Home Built Workshop. I hope you're all doing awesome. Today, as you might have guessed, we're working on a guitar and I wanted to show you my process for direct mounting a humbucker pickup. Now, if you're not familiar with direct mounting pickups and you're thinking to yourself, what the heck is this guy talking about? What is a direct mount pickup? Well, really, it's exactly as the name suggests. It's mounting the pickup directly to the body. Now, you're probably all familiar with the good old plastic pickup ring. Now, you can get these in metal, but a lot of cases, these things are plastic and the pickup is basically suspended from this piece of plastic using some screws and a spring and you're able to adjust the height and then the ring gets attached to the body of the guitar. While these little rings work perfectly fine, they serve the purpose they're intended to do, there's a couple things that I'm not super crazy about about using this mounting method. Now the first reason that I choose to direct mount my pickups versus using some sort of a trim ring whether it's plastic, metal, wood, whatever it is, is really just an aesthetic. I really just like the cleaner look that I feel it gives by direct mounting instead of using the trim ring. It's one less thing you have to attach to your instrument and it keeps the top looking nice and tidy. Nice and tidy is good. Now I'm not saying that if you use a trim ring or you have a guitar with a trim ring that it looks bad. That is not at all the case. There are thousands and thousands of guitars out there in the world that have trim rings that look really awesome. So I'm not saying that if you use one, your guitar is going to look bad or anything. I just prefer the clean and sleek look of not having the trim ring. The second reason that I like to direct mount instead of use these plastic trim rings is I feel like it isolates your pickup from the body of the guitar. When you have it attached to a plastic ring, there is no pickup to body contact. You've isolated it with a spring between a piece of plastic and I'm opening up a can of worms here, but I feel like it contributes a teensy bit to tone or response of the pickup. Now I have not done any extensive research to back this up, but I've had several people play instruments that are direct mounted with certain pickups that they're familiar with and they comment that it feels different, it sounds different, and they actually like the sound of a pickup that maybe they haven't liked before. The only thing that I can contribute to that is the fact that I've been direct mounting my pickups and therefore I feel like it, it does something. I can't really explain it. I probably shouldn't even throw the word tone out there because like I said, can of worms. It's going to be in the comments. <laughs> Let's hear it. But I'm not making this video to debate that. I want to show you my process and how I go about direct mounting the pickups. Now in order to direct mount a pickup, you need to use this screw hole to attach the pickup to the body. Your first thought may be to just run a screw down through the existing screw hole and screw it into the body. But there's one reason I feel you should not just do that. The problem with that is that you really don't have a whole lot of adjustment. If you just screwed it flat to the surface of the instrument, that might work if you could use a small screw. But again, no way to adjust the height. If you use the existing pickup screw as it is and use that to attach it, it's really long. And still, when you turn the screw to try to make any adjustments, the threads are still going to be engaged in this little ear. And that's not going to give us the adjustment that we need. I've heard of people drilling these out so that the pickup can run free on the screw. And while that would work, I don't like to do that because it damages the pickup. And really, you can't reverse that if you wanted to either use this pickup in another build or you wanted to swap it out. It's not a universal solution. It would work for a one-off application, but I don't like to do that. Now ideally, you want to leave these original threads unharmed. That way you can swap the pickup in and out, use it on something else, and you've never damaged the pickup. So that means we're kind of stuck with using the stock pickup screw. So in order to use the stock screw with the stock tabs, basically everything stock, we need a way to disengage the threads of the screw, but still be able to allow for height adjustment. Let me show you how we're going to do that. In order to be able to make this work, 
We basically are going to remove the threads just under the head of the screw. That way when we thread this little screw down into the pickup, when it gets all the way to the bottom, the threads will disengage, allowing this screw to kind of float. That way we can screw this into the body, changing the height of the screw, and the head of the screw will push the pickup down and allow us to adjust it. To do that, we're just gonna chuck this guy up into the drill press. I don't use the key really to tighten it because I don't wanna damage the threads, just hand tight. It may come loose once or twice on you until you get it to the right tightness. Then I'm gonna use the edge of a sort of medium size to smaller size file and we're gonna basically just file a little groove which is just gonna remove the threads. And I do this with the drill press running. I don't know how well you can see that, but after just 30 seconds or so, we've already started removing some of the threads. We only want to take it down to where the threads are gone. We don't want to make it really tiny or anything or this is going to get really brittle. We're just removing the threads so that when we thread it onto the pickup, it's going to disengage down at the bottom of the screw. Now if we screw this down onto the pickup, when it gets all the way down, you can see how the screw disengages from the tab. And now if we screw this pickup screw into a small pilot hole, we'll be able to adjust the height of the pickup, but we've never damaged the threads of the pickup. Now these screws as they are, are too long. So I'm gonna to wanna to shorten these up and also add a small point on the end so that it will guide itself into a pilot hole. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to just chuck the screw into a cordless drill and run it on my belt grinder. Now you could cut this down with a hacksaw as well and use a file to file a point on the end, but for me, this is the method that works the best. I use the belt grinder to both shorten the screw as well as to grind a point on the end. It's the old two birds with one stone trick. Now we just need to drill a couple of tiny pilot holes where the screws need to go into the body. And now I'll thread the screws all the way onto the pickup until the threads disengage. I like to cut down the original pickup spring and use that as a support under the pickup. I also insert a small piece of foam under the pickup to give it just a little bit more support. This seems to help with any shaking around of the pickup. All that's left to do now is to line up the screws with the pilot holes and secure the pickup. The foam and the springs under the pickup will keep the pickup tight to the head of the screw and then we can adjust the screw in or out to adjust the overall height of the pickup. And there's our direct mount pickup all ready to finish assembly on this particular build. Now this is a cigar box guitar, but it does have a hardwood insert in there, which effectively makes it exactly the same as a solid body electric guitar. The process will be exactly the same if you're working on a normal solid body. You're gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna work out awesome. There's one thing that I do wanna point out, no matter what instrument you're working on, if you're going to mount your pickups like this, you gotta pay attention to the length of the screws. Depending on the pickup cavity and the thickness of your guitar body, you don't want the screws to be too long that they're going to poke out the back. So make sure you know your measurements and know how far you can go into the body without the screw running through the back because that would really be a bummer to put all this time into building your instrument and then running the screws all the way through. So just be aware that it is possible if you're not careful and you don't get the screw length correct. So take your time, make sure you know your measurements and how far 
down into the body you can have those screws go so that you don't risk ruining your instrument. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you've never direct mounted pickups and are looking for a way to do it, hopefully now you have a little bit better understanding of just one way to do it and the way that I prefer to do it. Again, because I don't want to damage that pickup, this thing is 100% intact. It can be removed, swapped out, used for something else, whatever, we've not damaged it. If you direct mount your pickups, but you maybe have a different process, I'd love to hear what your process is. Leave it down below in the comments. I love learning from all of you. And lastly, before we get out of here, if you are looking for an overview on this entire instrument, there's going to be a video coming out when it's ready to go. There'll be a link in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Get off my lawn. That's a wrap.